Hey guys and girls, my name is Snowy and welcome to this experimental video in which I try to uh, recreate the same dam as shown in Senyak's uh, recent video on his uh, canal town. Now, he was monkeying around with that dam and he barely gets any power from it. And also he uses a spillway, you know, to in order to get the excess water out. Now, I think, I believe that the way how he put the dam is not entirely proper. And with this video, I tried to come up with the idea how to make it. Now, this uh, situation I created myself to get an idea. This is just a, a river, also like he made. And uh, yeah, let's get, uh, let's get started with this. So, first of all... And I want you also to show a trick. Now, you have a water source here, right? You see this water source, right? It is set to capacity uh, 1. But did you know that you also can turn this to 100? And you enter it, and look what you get. A lot bigger, a much bigger one. You see that? Uh huh. You probably did not know that, right? But okay, now you do. Okay, let's click it away. <laughs> okay. Another thing learned. Okay, let's put that dam there. So, this is the dam we need and we put it as high as possible. Let me see, roughly from here to, let me see, like roughly like in Seniac's video, point there we have the dam. Great. Now let me slow down this a little bit because also this water has to be, um, you know, filling up. Um, he created the spillway that goes around here. Well, that's okay. I mean, uh, you can do that. Um, you can do that with, uh, with canals. So we are going to do exactly the same thing. So we are going to grab a canal. We just take the shallow canal. And I, you know, I just... You can just make it easy. You can just make it go around like that. Boink. And now this drops down pretty... <laughs> pretty much, actually very much actually so what we can do is we grab the landscaping mod and I'm going to change a little bit we take this option slope terrain yeah we make this a little bit bigger and then I select this height over here right mouse button and I and then I move it from here Yip, voila Yip, voila there you have your slope sort of okay let me smoothen this out a little bit like that so this is a nice we have a nice slope you know that can go in that area so let me you know, finagle this a little bit like that perfect perfect loving it already yeah this can this can go later let's make that spillway first Ooh, like that uh, let me take this option, and this spillway can all co can go all the way to here. You know, it does not really matter. It can go point there. I think that will do nicely. And um, now we need to put like another spillway next to it. Now for that we can use the parallel mod. That is this thing. Also something that Seniac used, but that's not so difficult to use. It's just you know, point and go. Here we go like that and from oh and then from here to there oh creation side other side there except uh, for this little bend over here but that's also no problem we delete this and this we take that same thing again and then we take this thing again and we go from there to there is that possible from there there come on come on You won't play ball, won't you? Okay, okay, fine, fine, fine. Then we do it again. Put this away. Take this thing. Go from there to there to there to there, and then to there. It does not want to go around the corner. Ah, interesting. You see that? It does not want around. <laughs> okay, okay. I did not know that. Hmm. Okay. Well, then we do it like. Just do it like, you know what, we just take this thing and we just do it manually. 
boink. How difficult can it be? Yeah. Mm, we might have to do a little bit of tinkering with this uh, slope. From here. Now these notes, yeah, they are these are at the same level. Okay. Now these notes do not, but I have a trick for that. So we can use this option. We remove this note. Point. And this note, we're going to line up with that one. So we drag this one there, like that, a little bit back. Yeah, that's the same. Okay. Now, and we bring this at the same height as that one. And let me see. Yeah. Now, it's very important, actually, that the bottom part of this thing is just below... The dam. Now, as you can see, the bottom part is very much below the dam because. Uh, well, let me have a look here. Let me attach a row to this also as well, so we have a sort of visual. Okay, let me grab a road. Yeah. Okay. Now we have sort of a comparison. So. As you can see, the bottom of this overspill is much higher than, than this road and uh, much lower than this dam. So this thing needs to go up. Um, how to determine that? Well, <laughs> it's a little bit tricky. Um, the multiple ways to do, to, to do so, I think. Um, I think just visually, I guess. So what we can do, we can just grab these points. Like that, that and that. And then we are going to just uh, bring this up. Like that. And like I said, it will be a visual thing. You know, once the moment comes, the water will reach the top of this dam. So I will speed up the game a little bit. And from here, let me take this thing again. Because this thing will now go into there. And also into, if you want to work with me. Yep, like so. <laughs> interesting, very interesting. Okay, let me grab this node and align it with that. That looks very, very, very weird. But yeah, this is also an experimental video as well. So let me smoothen this off like that. Yeah. And then from here, we grab the slope mode. And then we do from there, there to there. Oh, enter. And then here, also we have to drag this a little bit forward so it's like at the same height at the same place and we do this again from here to there now like I said this is currently a guess that the bottom of this you know spillway is slightly lower than the dam and if I have to guess Currently, it's difficult to guess. It, it seems to be as if it is a little bit higher, actually, but difficult to guess. But anyway, let's just uh, ignore it for this moment and let's focus us on these things. Now, I have put this there and that there. Now, we can use also the so slope mode, this thing, for here, all the way to there. Enter. And here we do the same thing from there. To there as well enter so that is all nice and straight right right guys and let's just finagle a little bit around here with the softener with the softener thing like that and actually here in the end we also make have to make sure that it runs down proper into the yeah into the into the, into the river so let's just say what if we make a bend? Just for the funsies of it. 15 by... By... 15? Something like that? <laughs> Why not? Mm, can I do this just on site? If I turn this off... I know I can use the parallel mod, but... 
sometimes you know using your own eyeballs is working is also working fine so we put this straight over there I'm happy enough with that yes I'm happy enough with that okay so let's uh, smoothen the land also here a little bit uh, let me see take this 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 and then ooh, a little bit smaller here we go here we go that water will come down no problems at all now here comes the catch because I think the problem what we see in Saniac's video is that the land behind his dam is the same height as the land in front of the dam and I believe that's the mistake so what you need to do actually is here create a little bit more land actually in front of this dam so what I'm going to do here is I'm grabbing roughly um, you have like levels multiple levels like this is one level this is one level and for me I think just at this level it's already enough so we were grabbing this putting that all to there now let me have a look at it yeah I think it's okay and you put it you stick it against that dam just like that and also take all the space you have you know towards the side of the dam to create you know as much water behind it as possible okay I am going now to say to this water source you go up a lot okay that can go do its thing okay and here we go further like that like and let's see well, we have the overspill here so I cannot do too much with the smoothing thing so it's just something like this I guess one thing is sure you know it has to go through the spillway and not here over the dam and you know like I said I still have the feeling as if the bottom of the spillway this spillway is a little bit higher than the dam itself but mm, yeah we have to figure that out I, I I think if I want to I mean I can always lower these things I mean they these are on the same level these I just can lower them a little bit like that just like that and that bump we can figure out later I mean that's not the end of the world uh, let's uh, do a little bit of landscaping around here again here we go here we go here we go here we go yep now we can always prevent a little bit of uh, you know splits. Whoa. <laughs> uh, well yeah okay um, let me do the brush things a little bit lesser you know we're just placing a bump here ah it's okay is it okay here it looks so high and this, this this still looks so high you know in uh, in relation to the to this road I try to eyeball it but you know what this road is lower than this uh, spillway so yeah, I think that I think we need to put it down yeah so let's let's do that again one two three four five six five six oh, you also uh, also I wonder if I align it with this road yeah then probably the edge will be at the same height as the as the road but I can try it, you know, control H. I don't know if I can undo it, but let me try it. Yeah, just what I thought. You see the edge is then the same height as, uh, okay, can I undo it, control Z? Yeah, thank you. Okay, I will lower this manually, roughly like this. I know, I know, I know it is a little bit of a finagling thing, but I think now that this spillway is just a little bit lower than, than this road. Okay, so now we will see what will happen. Yeah, and also here on this side, it's the same same kind of thing, but then the opposite. You have to remove as much dirt. Oh, the wrong button. To give this thing space, because this is the excess for the dam, of course. So you need to make sure that it can output the water as well. 
Now let's see where the bottom part of this thing is. How far down does it go? You see it goes pretty far down. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go a bit lower. Just see. How far can we go down before we meet the bottom of this dam? Like that. I think we already are pretty far, you know? Oh, look, already some water is coming through already. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Let me smoothen this off a little bit. Also on this side, I think this is already pretty nice. But I want to make sure that we are not going underneath the dam because that's not the uh, idea. Here we go. Well, 1600 megawatts and how much time? How much time am I busy right now? I don't know. I did not keep track of it. I will list it now. Um, 16 minutes or so. Uh, we have overflow here and let me check out this thing. Okay, so balancing this thing. Okay, um, we can do that or maybe the spill will, will do it. Let me turn. Yeah, the thing is already running on full speed and um, Well, actually it's already working. So, well, here we have it. A working dam outputting the max of the max within just a few, well, minutes, sort of. And um, we can just do a little bit of, um, yeah, tinkering around here on this spillway. Let me check that, check out this spillway. Yeah, it could be a little bit deeper. Maybe. So we can use this thing, the set slope mode between then let's say here and all the way here to the end. Boink. And here we do the same thing to there. Boink as well. Okay, then we grab the landscaping mod again. And we do like and of course, you know, uh, I know that in the original game in which Seniac was playing, I mean the author of that map included all kinds of things that went over here. Of course, I can implement all those kind of things as well, but it's just the idea of, you know, how the dam actually works, you know? That's the whole idea. You want to have continuous power. And this is working. So, um, yeah, sort of, I, uh, I hope that Seniac is watching this uh, little video and uh, sees how you uh, basically make this damn work. And actually, it's not that difficult. Like I said, I think I also mentioned it in the video, like about make sure that the ground here behind the dam is higher and make sure that the ground in front of the dam is much lower so this thing can discharge. So that's the entire idea. Okay guys and girls, thank you for watching and uh, if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. And my greetings go out to Seniacam as well for, you know, giving the inspiration of making this little tutorial about, you know, how to make this dam. Okay guys, thank you for watching. Until next time, see you. Bye bye.